Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Goomer22. Let me get my, my mic up here. It's far away. Okay, I think we're good. Um, we are going to do a video on abilities. Uh, I'll get another one out soon here. But what I want to talk about was um, switching abilities. Uh, and the, the idea for this video came from the fact that I did a series 10 draft league recently uh, without restricted. So basically just a non-Dynamax VGC draft league. Um, and it seemed like in, in uh, you know, series 10, whatever, non-Dynamax, whatever you want to call it, it seemed like switching is very important, having switch-ins for your opponent. Um, and this is a nice way to shift momentum. You can, um, you know, switch in a Pokemon to take an attack. Um, but there is also, um, you know, there are also other things you can do with switching. And, and one of them is uh, activating an ability. And so I wanted to go over all the abilities that activate upon switching and talk about how useful they might be in draft and um, just kind of what I think about them. So uh, the first one is Anticipation. So Anticipation, when you throw this Pokemon out, it um, uh, it causes you to shudder, or it says like Pokemon shuddered, if your foe knows a one-hit KO move or a super effective move. Uh, now this is interesting because in Series 10, um, you are you can actually run one hit KO moves more reliably. Um, not that they're reliable in, in and of themselves, but you can if you're facing a bulky team, Cresselia, Suicune, you know, Umbreon, something like that. You might just bring a one hit KO move on on a Pokemon, and so having uh, the ability to get that information right off the bat is really nice with something like anticipation. Um, some of these it's more useful than others to see if they if people throw on like a tech move in uh, in draft. So like Whiskash, um, I don't particularly like Whiskash in draft. But if you were uh, going to grab it and you use the anticipation, it would be nice to know, uh, you know, if you're facing, you know, uh, like a Tornadus. Okay, are they are they using Grass Knot, you know, as a tech move? Um, did they throw that on? It's really nice for Wishcash because you only have one uh, weakness. So you can tell like if either of your opponent's mons are using a grass move. Uh, that could be really helpful. Um, so I think that's neat. Um, Toxic Croak has a lot of weaknesses, so it's not as useful. Um, Hatterene, it could be useful to see if someone's teching on like a, a ghost move, I guess. Um, Ferrothorn, it could be really useful to see if someone's tacking on a fire move in draft. And then Rapidash um, just doesn't have great abilities, so you may just want to run an Anticipation just because um, it doesn't have other great things to run. But, yeah, I think Anticipation is really nice um, in certain scenarios in draft, so that's definitely an option. Uh, and you can, I mean, you can use it different, different times during the match, and... The other thing about these abilities, which is nice for, for information, is you can use that in games two and three. You know, if you're just laddering, it's just one game, whatever. But in this, you know, they don't even have to use their, uh, let's say, one-hit KO move or their, if you're using Ferrothorn, you know, if you, uh, if you find out they have a fire move. They might not even use that, but you have that information now because you, uh, you found it out through this ability. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is, why is this not working? Download. Um, so download is really only used on the Porygons. Uh, and, but what's nice is you can use all three of these Porygons um, in, uh, in in draft. You know, e Porygon, normal Porygon is like a low tier with Eviolite. Still really solid. Um, so all, all, all of these Pokemon are viable. But... Uh, yeah, download can raise your attack or special attack. This is useful for two reasons. Um, one, you get to you know boost one of your stats, either attack or special attack. Normally, obviously, Porygon wants to boost its special attack, but boosting its attack isn't the worst thing. 
Um, but it also gives you information about your opponent because um, it compares their defense and special defense, uh, raising whichever will be more effective. So if you do raise your attack, you know that they're not trained as defensively. Um, or if you raise your special attack, you know that they have less special defense investment, uh, which is really useful in draft because certain Pokemon can have a lot more investment, um, you know, something like a Celesteela. You don't know if it's it's really physically bulky or especially bulky. It can go either. Uh, but if you get a download boost, you might be able to tell then what um, what it you know what what its defenses are like. So that's really interesting. Um, another, I guess we'll just talk about this one while we have them. But it, Trace. So Trace is another ability that is yeah it's going to be either from Porygon or Gardevoir. You probably won't use Curlier or Ralts, but Trace is interesting. Uh, again, for two reasons. One, you get to copy their ability, and you can, you know, there's lots of cool stuff. If you copy and Intimidate, now they're intimidated. Uh, that's really fun. You might copy something interesting like Prankster. Um, but it's really useful in Draft 2 for, again, figuring out information. If they're, um, if they are, you know, a Pokemon that can go multiple abilities, and you're not really sure which one it is, um, you know, it, it, it's, it might be really nice to figure that out with Trace. So you can switch in and position yourself and try to uh, figure out what ability they're actually using. Now, I don't know if Trace... Um, some of these are tough because I don't know how... Uh, whether it copies the, the Pokemon across from you or diagonal from you. Um, or if it's random. Trace might be random. So uh, it might just be, uh, you know... It, it might be... It's still, whether regardless of which Pokemon you trace, it's still information. So it's still good either way, even if you won't be able to, you know, for sure guarantee which Pokemon you trace. Um, still interesting. So trace is another cool one you can run. Uh, another big one in general is just weather. So drought, uh, you've got two drought users, really, uh, Ninetales and Torkoal. Um Switching in and changing weather is huge. Um, I would say for th more so for three of the weather types. Um, for sun, rain, and, sand, st and uh, sand. For hail, it's not as useful because you, um, you risk taking damage and there's really no damage mitigation. You know, for, for sun you're lowering water damage. Um, so that's really, really nice. Um, it, you're changing the weather. Whether it's neutral or there's another weather out there, um, being able to set the sun is really useful. You can activate abilities. You can turn off abilities for opponents. You can reduce um, you know, damage out for water moves. You can increase uh, fire moves. So it's, it's, it's really nice to have an ability that you can switch in and just change the momentum that fast. Um, you know, with Drizzle, you've also got um, two users, um, Pelipper and Politoed, and so both solid mons uh, for different reasons, I would say. And uh, yeah, same type of thing, uh, being able to get those hurricanes and thunders 100% accurate, you know, changing, uh, you know, making the fire moves uh, not as useful, uh, really, really cool in draft. Um, and then, yeah, you have a lot more hail and sand setters. Um, so you've got snow warning. Snow warning. Some of these mons are not as good, I would say. You've got, yeah, Aurora's Ninetales, Vanillix, Obama Snow. So you've got a little bit more options. But the thing about hail is it doesn't, all it does is change the weather upon switch in. And the, the main thing that you would really be changing is like a weather ball. Um, or I guess getting 100% accurate blizzards. But, you know, this is going to be your ice type, so I don't know how often that's going to happen. I mean, um, yeah, it's just tough because, you know, it, for example, let's say the sun is already set and you switch into Drizzle user. Well, now not only are they not boosted, but now, like their fire moves, but now their fire moves are actually weakened uh, from the rain. Whereas if you switch in a hail setter, it's like, yeah, their fire moves aren't boosted from the sun, but their fire moves are still de dealing neutral damage because hail doesn't reduce you know, their damage. So it's, it's not as useful, um, obviously, but 
uh, being able to change the weather and annoy opponents, like turning off that chlorophyll, that swift swim, uh, if they have that, that could also be really useful. So I still think um, having a weather user to switch in is really nice. Um, Sandstream is also really cool. And it's 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 nice on, I mean, you have three main users, Tyranitar, Hippodon, and Gigalith. I guess you could use Hippotas with Eviolite. But for, at least for Gigalith and Tyranitar, you're getting a special defense boost when you switch in. So it's a little less risky, be, um, you know, because, um, you know, same thing with like Torkoal or Ninetales. You, know, you switch those in and you, yeah, you could get hit by a water move, but it'll be reduced because of the sun. Uh, same thing with Gigalith, Tyranitar. It's kind of nice. You switch in, yeah, you could get hit with a, a special move, but it'll be reduced because of the sand. You get that special defense boost. So that's pretty nice. Um, Hippo, or Hippowdon can can switch in and change that. Um, that's really neat. Um, but yeah, the ability to change the weather just by switching. I mean, sure, you can tech on uh, Rain Dance, Sandstorm, any of the weather moves. You can tech those on in draft to any fast Pokemon and change the weather or something like that. But being able to switch uh, allows you to change the weather, uh, you know, essentially passively while while getting some momentum by switching a Pokemon in. So it's it, it that, that's kind of neat uh, in my opinion. Um, the next one, let me see here. Uh, next one, terrain, obviously. So we've got um, Misty Surge. You got yeah, you got two users for all the terrain. Obviously, all the tapus are really really nice. Uh, Weezing is uh, nice. It's got multiple abilities too. Um, but yeah, yeah, you've got Misty Surge, Grassy Surge. I won't I won't go through them all here, but um, Misty Surge, Grassy Surge, Electric Surge, Psychic Surge. Um, actually, you've got three users of Psychic Train usually because there's two in DDs. Um, but the cool thing is being able to use uh, use the seeds with them as well. You can swap in and change their terrain, um, which uh, makes a big difference uh, if they're using a terrain move. Most people don't use terrain poles, but but activating seeds is really really nice. Um, and yeah, just being able to swap in a Finny and you know, now you know you can't get burned or paralyzed or anything like that. Like, that's really, really useful. Um, another one, Frisk. Frisk is super useful in draft because you can use it game after game or, or even switch in multiple times during the game and learn your opponent's items if they don't reveal them to you. And knowing items in draft because they can be so variable is super, super key. You've got a lot of good Frisk users too. Executor is good, Gothitelle. Um... Trevenant, Gorgegeist, Noivern, Orbeetle, Grimmsnarl, although you might want to run Prankster, uh, Wigglytuff, any of the Dusk uh, line. Yeah, there's a lot of good Frisk users. And again, really nice, just figuring out items, you know, switching in, getting that information. Um, it, you, it allows you to be caught off guard less, uh, which is really, really nice. So, um, yeah, I, I think Frisk is an amazing ability. Uh, and especially more so in draft. Um, Forewarn. This one is similar to Anticipation, uh, but it actually tells you the exact move the opponent has. Uh, and yeah, you've got Jinx and Musharna as your users uh, for Gen 8. And um, on both of those mons, I think it's a really good ability. Um, Jinx, yeah, you can run Dry Skin or, or you could run Synchronize with Musharna, but I think it's ultimately it's a, it's a pretty solid... Um, uh, ability there. Forewarn is also kind of cool because it tells you the exact move that they have, you know, whether, so, um, one, you can learn if something's physical or special. Let's say you, you're facing a Salamence. Is it running Draco Meteor or Dragon Claw? Um, and then also you can figure out whether they're running, um, you know, a, a coverage move or a, um, you know, or just something strong, you know, like, if you're facing a Zapdos, are they running Hurricane or Air Slash? Uh, you know, if, if you do Forewarn and you find Thunderbolt, well, or I guess they don't even have Air Slash, so they have to run Hurricane. But I guess on a, uh, on a Moltres, is it Hurricane or Air Slash or Fiery Wrath? You know, if you use Forewarn and you get Fiery Wrath, you can probably safely assume that they're running Air Slash, uh, or they might not even have a flying move. Who knows? But regardless, Forewarn's really cool, um, and you can get... You can learn your opponent's moves throughout the match or throughout the uh, you know three game series, whatever you're doing. Probably the most obvious one is intimidate. 
Um, lots of Intimidate users. Arcanine, Tauros, Gyarados, Hitmontop, um, Mawile, Salamence, Luxray, Stoutland, Crocodile, Landorus, Quilfer, Scrafty, Incineroar, Toracat. I mean, so many Intimidate users. Uh, Intimidate is just so, so useful. Um, obviously, your opponents can take advantage of it if they have a Defiant or Competitive Mon that they want to use in Draft or if they want to run Adrenaline Orb. Um, but overall, Intimidate is just a really, really cool option to mitigate their damage. Um, but also, if opponents do have an ability like Inner Focus or Hyper Cutter or something that just prevents Intimidate, they are probably going to be more likely to run it in draft against you. So that's another one that, um, uh, you know, it can be abused, but your opponent still has to cover for it and it forces them to, to run certain things to account for that. So, um, yeah, having an Intimidate user is really, really useful. And there's a bunch of them to choose from. So it, it sometimes you might figure, like, you know, why not just pick one up just to force your opponent to play around it, even if you don't want, want to bring it. Um, natural Cure is an interesting one. So this heals uh, your condition, burn, paralyze, sleep, uh, poison, freeze, when you switch out. Um... So yeah, you could use it on Blissey, Starmie. You could use it. Um, you could use it on Altaria, Altaria or Roserade, maybe even Trevenant. Probably wouldn't use it on Comfey. Or wow, well, uh, Trevenant's other abilities are pretty good too. I don't know why you would necessarily use it. Um, I mean, this one is probably more of a singles use. Um, I could see you maybe using it um, if you use, like, Rest on, like, Chansey or Blissey, and then you wanted to switch out to reset that Rest. Um, that would be kind of a cool use for it. Uh, you could maybe do that on Altaria, too, uh, if you wanted to run Rest for, for healing, but I think you get Roost anyways, so and you get Soft Boiled for Blissey. So it's like, in those scenarios, I don't know why you'd necessarily use uh, Natural Cure. Um I mean, unless you really thought that they were bringing sleep or, or paralyze, you know, most of these you don't really need to switch out to, to heal burn. Trevenant would be the only physical attacker, probably. I guess technically Alteria could be physical. So, yeah, um, not a ton of uses, uh, most likely, in VGC for, for natural cure, but it is an ability that activates upon switching. So, just something to know about. Um, if you do, if, if anybody, you know, can find a use for it, that's cool. Um, the more popular. Um, switch out ability probably is Regenerator. Uh, decent amount of users. Um, Audino, Mindshout, Tornadus, Eldegoss, uh, all the slow pokes, slow kings, um, Tangrowth, Tangela, Amoongus, Toxapec, Renucleus. So um, lots of users of Regenerator. Uh, again, probably a little bit better in singles, but really cool um, for uh, in VGC, especially um, for Series 10. You know, switching out and gaining a third of your health back, I mean, that's awesome because you normally, you, yeah, you switch out to reposition and to, to, to try to, you know, shift the momentum, but you, you, you know, take a little bit of damage from it, so it's, uh, it's kind of a risk. But when you're switching out with Regenerator, you're healing back as you're switching. So just being able to um, get that, um, just, just being able to get health back while, you know, shifting this momentum and whatnot it is pretty cool and can definitely help you live a hits. You know, if you're getting two shot by something with Tornadus, uh, you, re you regenerate, and now um, they can't, you know, if they do a move that does like 60% or whatever, you regenerate, now it takes another uh, two more hits to kill you. So that's a really cool use for it. Um, and the last one here is Screen Cleaner, which is a signature ability for the, the Rhyme, Mime, Galar, um, line, and this one is um, this one is interesting. It's it's probably more useful against certain teams. Um, you know, if they have a, a snow warning user and they're more likely to use Aurora Veil, uh, that uh, could be a reason to bring Screen Cleaner. Um, or if you're facing something that that uh, a, a Pokemon that likes to use screens a lot, something like a Grim Snarl, um, that would be I would say a, a a reason you might want to bring screen cleaner. Um, plus, like, the other abilities for the Mime and Rhyme um, uh, line aren't too good. Um, and it, it, it's really nice. Um, 
And I guess, you know what, really, for all of these Pokemon, um, and, and more highlighted with these, but for all these Pokemon, you you these abilities activate upon switching and, and reset and whatnot. And so um, the other thing that happens when you switch uh, is it resets your fake out. So, you know, these this is a perfect example, Mr. Rhyme and Mr. Rhyme, Mr. Mime. Uh, is that, yeah, you might want to switch in to, like, it clear their screens if they did set up light screen or reflect or something. Um, but um, as an added bonus, you're resetting, you know, your, your fake out, and you're able to use that now. So uh, obviously another mo- common one would be, like, Incineroar or hit on top with Intimidate. Yes, you're, you're switching out, you're resetting that Intimidate, but you're also resetting that fake out, uh, and so that's really cool. So any mons that have these abilities that also have fake out, you're just kind of getting an added bonus on top, um, on top of their ability for these uh, for switching. So that was just kind of um, something I wanted to go through. Um, I thought it was interesting. If there's any abilities I left out, let me know. Um, but I think I covered them all. And uh, yeah, this was uh, fun, and I plan to do another similar one um, on some more abilities. So. Let me know. Peace.